Hello and welcome to June of 2023 solar stats and energy costs and we haven't had a smooth running month this month. Due to some adverse weather conditions we lost the Tesla Powerwall, um, the My Energy Eddy and also the Omi car charger. But the Tesla Gateway was still active so we have still got all the data. So moving on to the data. Tesla said we had a home usage of 1.022 megawatt hours. And you can see on this picture when we actually lost our Tesla power wall when the green line stopped um, being active on the 11th of June. Moving on to our solar, we generated 1.322 megawatt hours, which I think is a whole is a complete new record since we've had the current system set up. Tesla update has allowed us to look at the discharge and charge of the Tesla power wall and we discharged 82.2 kilowatt hours and charged up with 92.8 kilowatt hours but the Tesla power wall still had 80% when it had failed. We imported 106.5 kilowatt hours and again um, that was all after the Tesla power wall uh, failed. And we exported a massive 395 kilowatt hours, and again because the Tesla Power Wall failed. Looking at um, since 2012 in June, um, when the system st when we started off in our solar journey, um, 2023 has been that bumper month of 1.322 kilowatt hours. We got 573.4 kilowatt hours from our original inverter. We got 563.9 for our second three kilowatt inverter. And the small green bar there is our small lower 1.2 kilowatt peak inverter um, on the lower uh, solar panels just between the upstairs and downstairs windows. Let's move on to the purple columns here, which is our car data. We did 292 miles in the MG5 and 330 miles in the e-Golf. So that's a total of 622 miles for the month. And we're now at 3,843 miles for the year. Um, our All the charging was done from solar. So that's 200 kilowatt hours added to the cars. So there was no cost at that. So we're still at 63 pounds and 31 pence for the car charging for the year. Um, the average cost for the month from what we pulled from the grid was 42 pence per kilowatt hour. Um, but when you include the solar in that, that brought the cost down to 3.1 pence per kilowatt hour for the month. Now looking at our yearly averages, um, we, our overall average without the solar is 22.8 pence per kilowatt hour. And when you include what we've generated from the solar, our average cost per kilowatt hour is now 6.1 pence per kilowatt hour. And looking at where the 1.418 kilowatt hours went in June of 2023, we had a grid export of 395.4 kilowatt hours, which is massive. And again, there's two reasons for that. That's because the power wall wasn't absorbing. But we haven't been able to be as flexible with the energy because there's no energy in the power wall to use. And also we've had an increase in solar PV. Uh, the water heating used 647 kilowatt hours. Our general home was 440.5 kilowatt hours. The clothes cleaning and drying used 48.3 kilowatt hours. The cooking used 43.3 kilowatt hours. Our AC or air conditioning, so that's the air conditioning unit and the dehumidifier used 35.4 kilowatt hours. That's a new column I've got in there. The space heating was just 2 kilowatt hours, which was the pump on the electric boiler. Car charging, we used 200 kilowatt hours. Um, our Xbox and gaming uh, used 35.1 kilowatt hours, and our lighting used 31 kilowatt hours. And I'm going to be really interested looking at the lighting when we approach winter, how that increases. Based on our June cost of 3.1 pence per kilowatt hour, the grid export cost us 12 pounds and 25 pence. The water heating cost us 20 pounds and 5 pence. The general home was £13.65. pence. Clothes cleaning was £1.49. Cooking was £1.34. The air conditioning was £1.09. Space heating was £6. Uh, the car charging cost us 6.2 pence if it, if it was based on the 3.1 pence per kilowatt hour. 
but um, as as you know, that was all done directly from solar, but it does it uh, create an average cost. Uh, the gaming and Xboxing costs us one pound and eight pence, and the lighting costs us ninety six pence. And finally, to summarise up until the end of June 2023 at home, we've been 41 days grid free. We've done 3,843 miles at a cost of £63.31. We've imported 5.636 megawatt hours. We've had 4.694 megawatt hours of solar, so that's a total of 10,331 kilowatt hours or 10.331 megawatt hours. The cost of that has been £708.42. We've now had two FIT payments totaling £1,024.55. We've had some Octopus rewards and campaigns totaling £331.68. So when you take that away from the £708 cost that we've had, we're now at a balance of minus £647.81, and that includes all the VAT and daily charges as well. So we're now back in credit. I'll leave you with the day-by-day -day, um, data from the Tesla the new tesla app so it's a slightly different layout than what it has been in the past but it does give the same kind of information <laughs>